All right, what's going on, Facebook? Uh, Facebook Live, YouTube. Um, according to my Facebook Live channel and uh, also my um, my YouTube, my uh, YouTube channel. Uh, I just want to make a quick quick video. This one is about don't follow the crowd. Um, like I put in some of my other videos, this little circle right here represents how much I think I know, and so. My videos are about my perspective, my opinion on things. When I make a video, it's not that I'm saying that what I ha what I'm saying in my videos are a hundred percent correct. Everything's not always accurate. Everybody's circumstances and decisions are going to shape shape the way that they see truth um, as as the, as they know it. And so there is a perspective of truth and then there's the the truth which is the real truth which means it can't be changed whether somebody like likes that or not and so what I want to talk about is don't follow the crowd and the reason why I want to talk about that is because a lot of people I think sometimes have this flipped meaning of don't follow the crowd don't follow the crowd more so in my opinion, my perspective, and just me looking at the way life plays out doesn't have anything to necessarily do with following the crowd in general. It has to do with staying in your lane, knowing where your crowd of people is, and learning how to mind your own business. And minding your own business is a touchy is a touchy subject and I want to talk a little bit about that too because a lot of people don't understand what the whole minding your own business thing is about either. So I look at things from a from a biblical perspective. Chris Jackson, um, always watching. Um, uh, th thank you, thank you for um, watching, man. Just want to wave wave at him. Um, so let's look at some things. I, I look at things from a biblical perspective. My biblical perspective on, on things is a little different now from what I thought I knew to what I actually know now to things that I'm still receiving revelation on. And so God is not always the way that people make him out to be or the way we even learn God to be sometimes in First day church, seven day Adventist, or whatever your church background is, or whatever your religious back background is, however you experience God, it's not always what you what you think it is, or God is not always as we make him out to be. And so the best way to um get get the best perspective on God is to really study the Bible for yourself. Because the Bible tells you Study to show yourself approved unto God. A workman needeth not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. So, one of the scriptures I want to pull up is 1 Thessalonians 4.11. And it says, study to be quiet, to do your own business, and to work with your own hands as we commanded you. Now, sometimes you don't fit in with a crowd because... Your energy is not the same as that crowd. That's not always a bad thing. And what a lot of people don't understand is that God is using that to protect you. If you don't have the, that same energy as that crowd, that situation is not for you. That area that that crowd is going in is not for you. Um, Study to be quiet. Sit back, watch, mind your own business. Do your own work with your own, with your own hands. Find your niche, find where you fit in, where God has you going, and that's what you stick to because nothing else is literally going to work for you. And I'm saying this from, from experience. A lot of us have family members, relatives, friends that we do not hang out with on a regular basis like we used to back in high school. There's nothing wrong with that. Everybody's life has taken a turn for their own good for what God has you to do. That doesn't mean that those relatives don't love you anymore. They love you any any less. 
That means that for the core of your life, you guys don't have that, that matching energy. And so when the time presents itself, when the circumstances present itself, your energies will align and you guys will be able to hang out in with it within that moment, within that time frame, within that season. We have to learn how to really sit back and just monitor ourselves, look at who we are, look at what we've accomplished, what we've become, and really begin to look at where do you actually fit in and what energy do you bring to the crowd? And is that going to make it better? Is it going to make it worse? What What is the outcome? I've been saying this since I've been making these videos um, every Thursday. It is 2020. 2020 is clear vision. It's perfect vision. Hindsight looking backwards. Continue to analyze yourself. Because a lot of you guys that I have on here that I'm going to wave at, um, you guys are you're, you're doing your thing. And you're, you're, you're becoming successful little by little. And I'm telling you, you're built for whatever it is that you're going through. On my post, I have a, my saying is, I'm built for this. That's my saying. I'm built for whatever it is that I, I'm going to go through. I'm built for whatever it is that God is going to have me do. I'm built for whatever ministry that God is building up and to have come out of me. You are built for whatever it is that God is going to to have you to do with within your life. I have some real good family members that I don't hang out with all the time and they are doing excellent. And you got and you never know that you being around somebody that could that could actually that could cause their life to to take a turn in 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 the wrong way. You want to be exactly where it is that God needs you to be. And what that does is that requ that literally requires you to sit back and study for yourself and to stay in your lane and really mind mind your own business. Because if you are if you are not going to be about that party life, mind your business and stop hanging out with people that go to the club, that go and chill, that do their thing at the club, and they're about that life. There is nothing wrong. With them being about that life and you not. God knows who those people are too. You can't sit here and say that he doesn't because that's called their mind and their business. They're doing what they what they know to do. They're living a the life that they know. And as long as they are alive and breathing, God still has an opportunity to change their minds at some point in time in their life. They have the opportunity to change. Leave those people alone. And I'm talking about even down to the strippers and the prostitutes. There are temple prostitutes. There are prostitutes in the Bible. And people are like, no, there's not. Um, yes, there is. Study your Bible. Go back and go back and read Torah. Because um, when everyone's talking about the 12 tribes and all of this and that and Judah and, and all of that, um, Judah ends up uh, sleep, um, if I'm not mistaken, from the tribe of Judah. You have him, one of the guys ends up going out and sleep, ends up sleeping with their daughter-in-law because their wife died and they went, um, and they went into, they went out into the city and they, they went and they saw someone dressed like a prostitute and they went and slept with them. There were clothing that specified prostitutes back in the Bible. It's no different than today's society, today's age. Mind your business. People that are out there that are stripping, that are prostitutes, you don't know what in their lives caused them to be in that predicament. And in all reality, this is going to make some people think about me different and look at me different. I'm, I'm okay with that. There are prostitutes, strippers, whores, hoes, to be all honest with you. They are more honest and they are more righteous than some, than most church folks. <gasps> That's not true. Yes, it is. Think about it. They're literally telling you they're going to give you a lap dance. They're going to do this, this, and that, and the third for you for this price. You can't get any more honest than that. They're being honest with you. Whereas you have people you go to church with and they're sitting there smiling in your face. Oh, brother, I'm going to pray for you. Oh, son, I'm going to pray for you. And yet, 
They life so busy outside of work, they ain't even praying for their daggone selves. They life so busy outside of church life, they ain't praying. They, they ain't even got. They ain't even got time to think for themselves because they got so much on their plate. There's, there, there is so much going on in the world all at once. And you have so many people that are growing up in today's society that are trying to be a part of everything in the world. You can't. Your job is to find out where you yourself fit in and you stick with that. That is where you will get your blessing. That is where you will come up and that is where you will make your living. That is where your gift will make room for you in your real life. Not trying to live the life that someone else was meant to live. You ain't a gangbanger. Stop trying to be a gangbanger. Get your behind off the streets. Go find something to do with yourself. Like, all jokes aside, seriously. If that is not you, you are not that tough guy, don't get out there and don't play that card. That wasn't me. So you know what? Um, I had I had a lot of great friends um, gr- growing up that was a part of that stuff. And you and. Honestly, I applaud all of y'all. And the reason why I say I applaud all y'all is because for my friends of those that, that were out there fighting and, and gangbanging and doing all that that was about that life, they gave me the warning. Yo, Burston, go home. Um, this, 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 about to get, this about to get ugly. You don't need to be around for this. All right, say no more. I'll see y'all the next time we ball up or we go chill and go do something else. All right, Burston, yo, um, be safe. Hurry up and get home. Let me know when you're safe. I had friends like that in high school that protected me all four years of high school. Protecting my reputation. Those people that were out there protect, protecting me. Protecting me. And I, I, I appreciate y'all to the, uh, to the utmost. Because I'm not that kind of person. And I appreciate people being able to see that in me and saying, yo, go, go home. Get, get somewhere where we're safe at. Really looking out for my best interest. That's me minding my own business. If I wasn't taking that advice and got caught up in that, I'd be a whole nother person. But I really do thank God that I had friends like that in high school that pushed me to go home and be exactly where I needed to be doing what I needed to be doing and not out trying to be a part of the crowd that I was not meant to be a part of. You are not going to fit in with every crowd. And that is A-O-K. We, we are in a society where people don't understand that it's okay for you to be exactly the person that you are, are, meant, are meant to be. And if you don't know who that person is and you're finding, finding that out, you're going to go, go through it and you're going to make the mistakes you're going to make. And you're going to find find out who you are eventually. But there is a process to it. And you can't, you can't skip steps in that, in that process. It's going to happen the way it's supposed to happen to make you the person that you are supposed to be. And so learn, learn to admire that, that process. Learn to, learn to cope with, with the things that are going to happen during that process because staying in your lane, minding your own business, seeing how things pan out for you in, in 2020 and clear vision, this is the time and season where we can all come up. But we live in such a wicked and perverse world that our perspective of, of, of God is, is so distorted. Minding your own business is 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 like is like a is a bad is a bad thing. And we think just because we didn't get an invite to somebody's party or we wasn't invited to to the cookout or we didn't get the invite to this gathering that they went over here and blah, 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 that all of a sudden we now just missed out on something. If you weren't if you weren't invited, understand that that's for a reason. God knew you weren't going to be invited. You probably didn't need to be there. And if you were supposed to be invited and it was a mistake, you will you will receive an apology if if that is really due to you. But you do not need to be out. You don't need to be out here trying to fit in in every little crowd, trying to be at every event, trying to make it seem like you're the life of the party or a party hard person. If you are not that kind of person, mind your business, stay at home. If you are a Bible kind of person. 
sit at home, study your Bible. If that's what you do, people will respect you and admire you more for you doing the things that you are actually called to do. It's not until you step outside of the realm of who you are that people start to expose who you really are. I found that one out the hard way. I like studying my Bible. I do. I like sitting at home teaching my kids. I do. I don't go a lot of places. And so in my household, there's oftentimes that little little bit of tension sometimes between me and my wife because I'm not about going anywhere. I'm really not. I don't mind um, going to a, to a hotel and taking the kids out, things like that. But preferably, I don't see a problem with sitting my behind at home. Why? I have a big enough yard. I have a big enough house. My kids will go outside and they'll be happy playing with the broken toys that they got outside and playing with some sticks outside. Why? Um, I'm studying my kids. I'm studying my real life, the legacy I'm leaving behind. I'm minding my own business. I will sit my behind at home all day, every day if I have to. When it's time for me to go out, I'll go out, go do something with my family, go catch up with, with some people, go minister to some people, talk to some people that need, need to be talked to. I'm fine with that. Other than that, I am A-OK -okay sitting at home, working six days, waiting to the seventh day, um, Shabbat service for me, my kids, my, my wife, and, and enjoying the life that God gave me. I'm fine with that. And I'm telling you, you're built for it, and you will be A-OK -okay doing that too. There is nothing wrong with you not meeting the same energy as another crowd. That is just not for that is just not for you. You don't need to be a part of any and everything that all that's always going on. You don't need to see everything that's always going on. The news media already is distorting our way our way of thinking by the thing that they're choosing to post to keep us occupied on what they want us to stay occupied. And so the exercise for your brain, reading. Pay attention to what's going on. Read up on things. Do your, re do your research. Study real life. It's 2020. Have some clarity. See what's going on. Pay attention to the things that are being said. Pay attention to things that are not being said. Pay attention to the things that they're showing you and why they're showing you. See the agendas that are out there. Stay free. Because you don't want to follow the crowd if that's not the crowd that you're supposed to be a part of. Where you're supposed to be in your life, you're going to get there one, one way or another. That pain of going through that process is what we don't like, is what we don't really want to go through. But I'm telling you. That pain that you're going to go through, finding out who you are, who you're meant to be, where you're supposed to go, the crowd you're supposed to be a part of, all of that, that's going to happen. You just have to see that everything that you're going through is, re is really for a reason and it's really shaping you to be who, who you are. Because if you don't see that, then life is just going to trample over you and it's going to kick you down every chance to get and it's just going to destroy you in all types of drama trauma gonna come into your life and you're not gonna know what to do so what i'm saying in 2020 is you have to be firm in who you know you are and who you think you are you will find out who you think you are and you that will confirm more so who you know you really really are and so i'm not gonna stay on here long just something i, I wanted to put out there if the crowd is not for you, don't follow that crowd. You ain't got that kind of energy. You're not about that life. Mind your business. Find your crowd. Stick with your crowd. Do your thing. That's where you will find your blessings. Life is not that serious to where you got to be a part of any and every crowd. If you're not about that life, you're not about that business, and that's not for you. So that's just my perspective on it. Um, I will be making another video um, sometime tomorrow. Um, tomorrow is Thursday, day of preparation. And so, uh, the partial we'll be doing this week is Ha'azinu, which is, um, the Hebrew word, the English word is, is here. So, till then, you guys, um, that, that's it. That's it for me. Thank all you guys for, for, uh, for watching. Till next time. All right, guys. Peace.